three, two, one. What's going on, everyone? This is Titus Winker, and welcome to another reaction video. Today, Pokemon decided to drop a direct. They announced this a couple of days in advance, and you boy could not be up at 6 a.m. his time. I had literally just wrapped up a Pokemon stream, actually, Pokemon Unite, and I would have been way too tired to react to this when everybody else was. So, now I'm reacting to this. I expect all, a lot of these Nintendo-related reactions to be just straight up late, by the way. If you've seen my last direct reaction, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, they've released a new Pokemon Direct today. It's about 14 minutes long. I have no idea what to expect, because I, I have my methods of staying spoiler-free. I don't think you want to know about them, because they might be a little manga s But, here we are. A Pokemon Direct about 14 minutes long. And if you guys want to see more reactions like this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below to become a part of the Wangster Clan today. And also, if you want to be a part of these live reactions, go follow me on Twitch. Link to that and a bunch of my other social medias will be in the description below. And as an extra side note, I am going to be starting Pokemon Legends Arceus soon, thanks to a certain friend of mine. Shoutouts to Reversal, if anyone happens to know him. I think, I think at least... 300,000 people know him, because I think that's how many subscribers he has, so please go check out Reversal on YouTube, it's exactly what you think it is, and on Twitch as well, because he also streams there almost every day, but yeah, I want a copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus through his giveaway, so this Direct might be a little more relevant now than it, you know, probably would previously have been were it not for that. But yeah, I think I'm done rambling, let's actually, let's actually start this and see what in the world this has to offer. Oh, that's a little bit loud. Hold on. Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Let me know if the volume's good, Today, chat. If Pokemon anyone's even in chat. Is is the date the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were released in Japan, marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. I actually move this here. We've now reached our 26th year since the birth of Pokemon. 26. Thanks to the support of all you trainers around the world. Thank you, each and every one of you. Today, we would like to present the latest updates on a number of games. A number so I of hope games. You'll watch to the very end. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take. Are you able to put subtitles on if it doesn't bother you? Yeah, no, uh, I can. Oh, actually, you know what? They don't have subtitles available. Uh, so that kind of sucks. I'm sorry. I, you'll probably have to watch this on your own time if you want to get subtitles. I just realized there's no subtitle option. Uh, excuse me. But you know what? That's a good thing to take note of. Take it away. Pika! Pika! I can't, <laughs> I can't do a good Pikachu I'm impression. I'm Takato Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Allow me to jump straight into sharing the latest updates with you all. First is an update on Pokemon Oh, well, hey, I was just talking about this game, actually. I just found a shiny Gyarados, for those of you who don't know. Oh, is this Alola? Is this the Alolan update? Yup! I figured. When is this coming out? Pokemon that first appeared in the Alola region of the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games will be appearing in the world of Pokemon Go beginning Ooh. March 1st. Yo, that's literally two days away! Until then, Alolan Executor will be appearing in Pokemon Go. Oh, that okay, that explains why I was seeing a bunch of these earlier. Catching them for yourself. That actually explains a lot. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Okay. Wow, you know, I recently got back into this, too. And I know about this event, actually. This February, Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two and a half year anniversary. Right now, as far as trainers go, wow. there are over 142 in total Ooh. that you can team up with. That's Powerful crazy. Powerful sync pairs from many regions yep, have assembled I, I, on this Victory is, Road. See, this I know about feature. already. By completing Victory Road, not only can you team up with Cygna Suit Red, Cygna Suit Blue, or Cygna Suit Leaf, but you can also receive 5,000 gems. Starting tomorrow, May and Latias arrive, with Ooh. May in a special outfit. This sync pair can turn the field of play into psychic terrain, powering up all psychic type sync pairs. Oh, Mega Latias! Skyla and Tornadus also debut, with Skyla in a special outfit. 
This sync pair can turn the field of play into a flying zone. They're skilled at supporting flying types and using interference against opponents. And, Mega and there's more. You'll also be seeing Raihan and Flygon with Raihan in a special outfit. With moves like Sandstorm and Max Flare, they can create several weather conditions. To celebrate the two and a half year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players now have the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. Wow. But that's not all. If you log into the game after this presentation ends, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our latest campaign begins. We have a variety of other content lined up as well. I need to do that after this, actually. Well. I haven't done that now yet. Now is the perfect time to play Pokemon Masters EX. Don't miss out. I recently got back into this because I have a few sync pairs that I've never used before. Uh, this I don't think I've touched, Pokemon though. Cafe Remix. The puzzle game where you mix and match alongside Pokemon. Introducing Deliveries, a new way to play. Pelipper will deliver drinks and dishes to Pokemon far away and spread word of your cafe. At Pelipper's destinations, you'll have the chance to meet Pokemon that are new to Pokemon Cafe Remix, gather new special outfits, and unlock hidden specialty gimmicks that give you an edge. Man, you wish you had space on your phone? Mythical Pokemon Victini. Why, what are you thinking about first getting time in Pokemon Cafe Remix during your delivery? It's I'm, cur I'm curious to, I'm curious to know new puzzle mode what you would early what you would reserve more space for out of all the announcements they've announced so far. To have it join your staff. Additionally, there will be 3 events to celebrate Pokemon Day. The first event is Bulbasaur's Happy Pokemon Day. There will be a seven-day special cool concept, login bonus. This is a cool concept, but and I used to play login, uh, Zoom Zoom, the actual Disney version of this. Outfit. For the second event, so I've kind of grown over this idea. Shiny Piplup Pokemon Masters? Yeah, it's now, Pokemon Masters is days, actually a fun game for what it was. Shiny Piplup will have a greatly increased chance of showing up at your cafe. Use this Actually, let, let me pause this real quick because I feel like I'm going to get in the way of the presentation. So, just real quick. I played Pokemon Masters the day it came out because all my friends were telling me to get it. We played it consistently for, I think, until the end of the year because I think it released in fall of, like, 2019. Because, I mean, yeah, two and a half years, yeah, that makes sense. So, fall of 2019, we, we, we all downloaded the game. We played the game consistently for, like, the rest of the year. Then we all fell off. I finally logged into the game almost a year and a half later to actually complete the story, which I did. And now I basically get on the game to just experiment with sync pairs that I've never used before. But once I'm done experimenting with those sync pairs, uh, that's finally going to be the end of Pokemon Masters for me. For good this time. I'm not taking no breaks, no nothing. It's finally going to be a permanent thing done on my list. Opportunity to have it join your staff. And for the third event, you can use an 11 times express delivery item at no cost. We'll give you the chance to try out the new delivery feature 11 times. You won't want to miss I assume, it. I assume it's a good delivery As feature. As the second then. anniversary of the game approaches this June, get ready to welcome tons of new Pokemon to the cafe. Have fun playing Pokemon Cafe Remix on both Nintendo Switch systems and smart devices. The animations look cool, though. I'll give it that. Oh! Well, I think I know about this, actually. This is Koopa, right? Since Pokemon Unite launched last July, it's lots Koopa. of Pokemon have joined the fray. Together with unique Pokemon like Dragonite, Aegislash, or Greedent, form a team and battle. Fire off your Pokemon's moves over and over in new, intense, limited time battles. Oh. Full Fury Battles, added today, February 27th. You can try out any Pokemon in standard battles and quick battles on special days posted on the official Pokemon Unite website. Hmm. Furthermore, there is a Pokemon Day event happening right now in Pokemon Unite. The mythical Pokemon Hoopa joins the roster. Yep, I know about this. Hoopa is Hoopa broken. Hoopa can warp ally Pokemon to other locations. Hoopa is actually broken Use in this blind game. Team it's, it's actually meta. On the like, if you're... Team. Using Hoopa's Unite move, yep, turn into that Hoopa in Unbound particular is and go wild. But the fact that anyone can use Hoopa's portals... While the Pokemon Day event is going on, insane. all players can try out Hoopa. Clear all special missions, and you can obtain Hoopa's Unite license. Mm -hmm. I know all about players this. that log in now will receive commemorative Pokemon Day trainer Already fashion did this. items. I, I actually have to do it with Pokemon Use Masters Pokemon later. I need, I need to remember that. To experience the heated battles in Pokemon Unite. And finally, enjoy a preview of the next Pokemon that is slated to join Pokemon Unite in the future. Oh, hello. Please continue to look Ooh, forward to more content. I don't know who Unite, that is. Available on Nintendo Switch and mobile devices.
Dural Next, a lot what did that say? Duraludon? About the Pokemon Brilliant Mobile Hold devices. On. More Wait. content in the future in Pokemon. Duraludon, yeah. I think I I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Switch and mobile that does sound overpowered. Yeah, it is. Next, allow me to share some Believe, believe me, if, you, if you've seen Hoopa in action, Pokemon you know. Pearl games. You know how OP it is. Also, I don't own this game, so this doesn't concern me too much, but I assume this has to be big. Oh, is that Oak? That's Professor Oak. It's a legendary Pokemon that I've seen a while back. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, is that Shaman? That's Shaman! Ooh, hello. That's a mythical Pokemon, as far as I'm concerned, for Gen 4. Soon, we'll send out Oak's letter, an item that will allow you to encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman within Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. You'll be able to claim this item as a mystery gift later, after this presentation ends. It takes approximately two hours you of playtime before the mystery gift feature is unlocked. Okay. Okay, so that's like a couple extra hours of gameplay for the mythical Pokemon. Next up. We have some news about the Pokemon oh, Legends Arceus. Oh, here we go. Again, I'm going to get this game soon. All right, what, what do we have here? Munchlax. This game looks so pretty, by the way. Yo, what is that? Empoleon, my boy. Is that Arcanine? Is that Hisuian Arcanine? That's a little bit spoiler for me, but that's sick. That's actually a sick design. That might be a little bit spoiler for me, though, because I don't have this game. I don't even know what that big boy was. Oh, Hisuian Electrode, yup, I'm aware of that. I have no idea what that is, though. What that, what that one just was. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Software update version 1.1.0. Daybreak. Later today! Wow, so this is- oh, snap. I've seen people talk about- talk that the scenes are lacking. Really? Again, I don't know, but... Oh, yo, online battles? Oh, no, it's- it's Mega Dialga and Mega Palkia. Whoa! So you can- you can battle them now? We are pleased to announce the Daybreak update for Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is like a whole other story, isn't players it? At no cost. You'll begin a new investigation into a curious phenomenon that is causing mass outbreaks of Pokemon across the Hisui region. You'll also be able to engage in new Pokemon battles together with your ally Pokemon at the training grounds. The Daybreak update will be available later, after this presentation ends. Well then, people have already been playing it then. And, as a Pokemon Day gift, we'd like to offer you some items that should come in handy on your adventure. Available Please until Thursday, the March 31st. Your game to claim this oh! So I can claim this, actually. I need to remember to claim it. Enjoy your adventures in the Hisui region. I, I need to remember to actually claim that thing. One more Those thing. Pokeballs. We are pleased to announce that production of an online animated series set in the Hisui region has begun. Ooh! This series will feature an original storyline and is anticipated to launch later in 2022. Wow! New anime! Please wait new, for future new Pokemon anime! More. That's exciting. What did you think? We hope you all look forward to how Pokemon games will continue to evolve in the future. Okay. We've shared with you today the latest information about a variety of our games, but to wrap things up, we'd like to end this presentation by sharing one more video. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. What's this? Is this a new game? Well, it could also be a movie, but it could also be a new game. I don't know. What is this? Huh. Oh, 
Uh oh. Whoa, seizure warning. Loki, I'd be scared too if everything started moving in a room. Wait. Is this. Yo, is this Gen 9? Bro, it's a whole new. It looks like a whole new game. What? Dude. I think this is Gen 9. I think we're actually getting a, a new full-fledged Pokemon game. This looks nothing like what I've seen before. This, this is completely different from Galar. Blissey, Survivor, Larvitar, Magnemite. We're just going through all the Pokemon now. I think this is a new game. I think this is Gen 9, possibly. If it's not, then it's like some... It's like, it's like some new spin-off. But I don't know what this is. We got some epic music playing in the background, too. Okay, I think this is Gen 9, actually. Because we're, we're walking into a house. There's the, there's the Switch OLED. That was a, that was a cool transition. Th 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 this is Gen 9, right? If it's not, it's like some new spin-off of Pokemon. But I saw the switch inside the house. You could go inside a house. That's usually where every new Pokemon adventure begins. Oh, this is Gen 9, dude. Those are new starters. New starters. Yo, look at them. Pokemon Scarlet. And Pokemon Violet. Wow. It's Gen 9 confirmed. This year, as well. So this is going to be the big November game, then. I can, I, can, I, can, I can see why people were freaking out over this. Wow, wait, that's it. Whoa, that's it. Oh, That's it. What's going on, everyone? Austin John Plays here. Ah! Pokemon Day 2020. No, ah, shout-outs to Austin John Plays, but, uh... But just to Austin John Plays, we're not watching his reaction to this. Holy cow, they just straight ended it with... With Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, it, it actually does look really cool. It does look completely different from what the Galar region was previously. But, alright. We need to talk about this. Apparently, the names of these three starters, from what I've heard, uh, have also been... Have, well, I don't... Well, at least from what I've been seeing floating around, these three starter, the three starters' names have already been leaked. So, uh, we're... I guess we're gonna find that out somewhere at some point. But, anyways... That was a decent direct. Uh, uh, some of this stuff I already knew about because I do, in fact, play Pokemon Go. I play, I somewhat still play Pokemon Masters now, mainly for the new Sync pairs. And Pokemon Legends, sorry, not Pokemon Legends Arceus, but Pokemon Unite I also played. So I'm aware that Hoopa's out. I've already started doing the challenges for Hoopa. And Hoopa's incredibly broken. Now, in terms of Pokemon Legends Arceus, from what I remember, that all that stuff is cool. They've already released like, new content for Pokemon Legends Arceus, as if the game already didn't have enough content. And Pokemon Legends Arceus, by the way, has only been out for a month? Like, a month now. So it's still a brand new game, and they've already thrown content into it. That's pretty cool. Cafe Mix, I'm not too interested about, unfortunately. I don't think I've even touched it at one point. Um, what, el what else did they talk about? I mean, they mainly also talked about sync pairs in... In, in what's it called? In Masters. Actually, I can go back through this. What am I doing? Hold on. Let me actually, let me full screen this again. Let me actually go back through what in the world they showed. So they showed, what did they start with? They started with Pokemon Go, right? Alolan region is actually being released in a couple of days from now. That's going to be exciting. So Alola's coming out in Pokemon Go. That's cool. They announced a bunch of sync pairs in Pokemon Masters EX. These are the sync pairs that you can get, which Spoiler alert, if you haven't played this game yet, these are literally the three sync pairs that you fight at the very end of the story. Um, so, yeah, they're just incredibly strong. And honestly, it's not really too much of a spoiler, because you eventually figure that out as you go as you go along. But yeah, then they start talking about new... Uh, they start talking about new sync pairs, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Uh, here's Pokemon Cafe Mix. Don't really care too much about this. They, they, they talked a lot about this, actually. 
Uh, Pokemon Unite. Some stuff. Uh, Hoopa being in the game, and then I think what? Who, who's the new Pokemon again? It was like. It was a uh, Duraludon. Don't even know what generation this comes from, but maybe it's in Gen six or seven. I don't know. But yeah, so seven. That's where that's where that comes from. Uh, Shaman in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is cool. Again, that's like an extra couple hours of content into into those two games. Legends Arcus with the Daybreak update, and then I think if I go, where do I go? Because there was like a whole thing where you can actually see. Yeah, right here. This was the whole thing where you could see Mega Dialga and Mega Palkia or something like that. I just know these are different forms. I could be wrong in saying Mega, though. Like, I think, I think I'm going to need some corrections there. Um, if this, dude, this might be, this is already a little bit of a spoiler for me, but apparently this is what Hisuian Arcanine looks like, and that's, in, that's so sick. I, I can't wait to actually see, you know, what the Shinies would look like. I think that's going to be incredible. Um, unless that is the Shiny version, I don't know, but it probably isn't. Um, Ultra Balls, Gigaton Balls, Jet Balls, 30 of those each, a piece... And since I'm getting this game before March, or, well, I'll probably get this game in March. I'll definitely have time to redeem that eventually. I'll, I'll need to remember to come back to this later. There's the, uh, there's the whole, what, Pokemon anime thing happening with Hisui. That's cool. And then this right here. This is what we thought was going to be, like, a movie or something like that. And it turns out it ends up being, it ends up being a whole new region. Like, let's actually watch this part again. Because, yeah, hold on. Look, this is this is the new scene they cut into. This looks cool. I don't know where this takes place, but this looks cool. This is 100% Gen 9 because they showed off the new starters at the very end. Let's just take a look a, a little bit again at, at all this again. Look at that water. That that's what the that's what it looks like at night. This 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 area looks a little similar to the Gala region. A little similar, but not but not incredibly. Um, let's see, so, I, I, don't, I don't even know what that is. That's, what, what is that Pokemon? Uh, that's a Blissey, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so again, see right here? There's the Switch OLED right there. Nice reference to the Switch OLED. There's like a little hop hip plant. That's cute. So, they basically gave you the tour of what the house that you're going to start in for the next adventure is going to look like. And then, here are the starters here. The starters here, we have ourselves what looks like an apple shaped dragon or something like that, whatever this creature is, it's like a dragon, we have a grass kitty, a grass cat, a grass kitten, and then we have a water duck. I think this is actually the first time in the history of Pokemon that a duck, a duck is actually a starter in the, in this game, because I know, because we, we, we have some duck Pokemon, it's just, this is the first time a duck is actually getting the spotlight. An Apple Gator. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I think there's also an Apple Pokemon already from Gen 8, right, if I'm not mistaken. So I guess they're taking a different route with the Apple, but if... But this stem right here, this this little this little hairdo that the that this that this fire starter is rocking seriously reminds me of an Apple. I'm probably not the only one who thinks that. But yeah, look at that, though. New starters. And then we got the name reveals as well. Scarlet and Violet. And look at that. This year as well. Later this year. That that's that's honestly all really sick. Uh what's it called? I yeah, no thank you. No more Austin John plays. Again, shout outs to no again, shout outs to Austin John plays, but uh I'm not I'm not out here to promote his content. This direct already has two million views and over a hundred thousand likes. So, what do I think about this direct overall? Pretty cool stuff. I wanna say like half of this I already knew. So I guess to me I guess I guess really I wasn't missing out on a whole lot, except for, except for what's it called, Gen Nine being being confirmed. That's pretty cool. Um, are, so what's it called? I think there are names for the starters already floating out, as far as I'm concerned, right? So we can we can probably go check that out somewhere. I don't know where. Already know what Pokemon I'm getting when I play it. Oh, which which one? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, before we end here, let's go ahead and check Twitter. Let's check let's let's check Twitter real quick. 
Uh, and we're going to, what's it called? We're going to probably search for if, if, the, um, if the three starter names got dropped somewhere. Because I, because I would be interested to know, I would be interested in knowing where, uh, ooh, that's a little bit, that, hmm, green kitten one, yeah. Also, the, the post that I'm getting here on my feed already is a little bit, is a little bit monka, but it's okay. Uh, oh, wait, oh, that's Tweet, I'm an idiot, hold on, I'm sorry, this is the, this is the search bar. Pokemon, uh, hello? Okay, it's, it's, it's taken a little bit, that's fine. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, 640 tweets. Let's see. Are any have any have any of these names been dropped yet? Because uh, somewhere along the lines, these names had to have been dropped, right? Yeah, here we go. Yo, Nintendo Kid. Shout outs to shout outs to Nintendo Kid because I actually do watch them on YouTube. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and like their tweet and let's actually let's actually look at this for a second. Um. Yeah, shut up. I don't need to know about downvotes. Info on new gen starters for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So, um, this sprit, so this, so the grass kitten is called Sprit, Sprigatito, Sprig, Sprigatito, Sprigatito, Sprigat. See, to, I, 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 I need to, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names, but we're literally hearing about this just hours later, but apparently this is what the name of this is, it's a green, it's a green, of course it's green, I, the grass cat Pokemon, so that's cool, it has the ability to overgrow, the, capri the capricious attention seeking grass cat Pokemon, this is why I was never an English major, uh, Fue Coco, is that what this is called? Fue Coco, the Fire Croc Pokemon. So, yeah, uh, Sleeping, you were right. This this is, in fact, an, a crocodile or alligator, whatever the heck you want to call it. They're basically the same thing. It, it looks so much like an apple, though. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the laid-back Fire Croc Pokemon that does things at its own pace. Okay, cool. And finally, we also finally we have Quaxly, the duckling Pokemon. The, the earnest and tidy duckling Pokemon. I will say, he might be the best duckling Pokemon that design in the series so far. And I think we only have, like, one other duckling Pokemon, which is, which is, um, Ducklet. Unless you want to count Psyduck as a duckling Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure Psyduck has already grown up, regardless of how soon you find a Psyduck. But yeah, shout out to Nintendo K for that info. That is so, that is actually really cool. I was wondering if we were going to get any name drops for these, and it turns out that we do. So, these are the three names here. Um, I actually don't know who I would pick. To be honest, to be honest, the idea of a crocodile sounds really cool, and this is probably the first time I'm ever actually leaning towards a fire starter, because I think in every other gen so far, if you ask me which starter I would want, I think I would always pick either grass or water starters. So this might be the first game if I were to ever, or the first generation where I would actually prefer a fire type Pokemon. Not gonna lie, because in every other gen, I feel like the fire starters are just, they're just not it for me. That's just my personal opinion. I'm sure there are people out there who love the fire starters, and believe me, I don't think there's like a single truly horrible design with the starters. Obviously, some are better than others, but I mean, th there are obviously some top-notch ones. Maybe I'll do a whole, like, tier list eventually. Like, maybe when Gen 10 comes out, I'll do, like, a tier list for the first 10 gens of, of starters and their evolutions. I think that'd be really cool. But all right. I think I'm, I think I'm dragging this on for way too long. Thank you so much to everybody for tuning in to this Pokemon presentation, reaction, if you will. Again, I'm extremely late because 6 a.m. was just way too early for your boy. I'm not a morning person, but if you guys enjoyed this reaction, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below to become a part of Chung. Make sure to also go check out all of my social medias in the description below, especially on Twitch if you want to be part of these live reactions, like Sleeping Lee is over here. Thank you, Sleeping, for giving me company. I appreciate you because it is actually nice to talk about this kind of thing with with, with, what's it called, with someone else while we're reacting to this. And if you want to drop any last minute thoughts in the chat, like, do, like, quickly do it, because I'll re I'll probably read them out just before I end the recording here. But, yeah, again, 
Make sure to go follow me on Twitch for, for more highlights like this, and especially more gaming stuff as well, because I, I will probably start doing some Pokemon Legends Arceus content on the channel soon, especially, especially if I find me some Shinies in the game. You already know that Shiny reactions are just uh, incredible content on YouTube. So I will, I will absolutely put that out if I end up finding any random Shinies or if I end up doing my own Shiny hunts at some point in that game. Can't wait for the new Pokemon game. Oh yeah, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Absolutely, I'm sure. I'm sure people are going to be excited about this, and hopefully, it fixes some of the issues that a lot of people had with Sword and Shield. I never played Sword and Shield, but I just know that there was a ton of controversy. So I hope that Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet fixes those, fixes those issues when it comes out. But yeah, I think that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your freshly baked sleep. Just don't eat it. Peace.